Hello guys, today I'll show you these 31 new modeling tools in Blender in just 7 minutes. All these tools are part of the BB Tools add-on which you can get from the link in the description. And also the first 50 people to use my discount code which is Blender Bash will get a 30% discount. So once you install this add-on in edit mode you'll get this menu from where you can access all these tools. So let's run these bad boys down one by one starting with Array Linear Tool creates several set copies out of selected geometry along a given direction and you can either set the space in between each copy or set the total distance between the first and the last copy. Array Radial Tool, similarly to the previous one, creates several set copies along a given arc or spiral, with each copy being offset from the previous by total or spacing distance or by total or spacing angle. Move the center point, add screw and align the rotation to your liking. The Bend tool bends geometry over a given axis. Works a lot like the simple deform modifier in Bend mode but with more options and a user-friendly gizmo. The Mirror tool mirrors the selected mesh along its local X, Y and Z axis, passing through a point you can set here in the options. The Screw tool takes a selected mesh profile to create a helix-like shape. It works more or less like the screw modifier with the option to set the axis, the angle, the center of rotation and more. The solidify tool takes the selected surface of any mesh and adds thickness to it. It works a lot like the solidify modifier but with more options. The stretch deform tool stretches the selected geometry along the specified axis. With a positive factor, the deformed mesh looks like rubber pulled from both sides. It gets longer along the deformed axis, wider at the borders and thinner at the origin. The taper tool linearly scales the selected geometry along the specified axis. The scaling of the vertices depends on their distance from the origin of the object. The maximum scaling occurs at the vertices that are furthest from the local origin and no scaling occurs in the plane of the origin. The twist tool rotates the selected mesh around X, Y or Z axis. Each vertex along the deform axis is rotated around the object's origin. Vertices that are furthest away from the origin have maximum rotation, while vertices in the same plane as the origin are not rotated. And here you can also set the limits. The wireframe tool creates tubes or meat around edges of selected geometry. It has two modes, standard and cat-like mode. Cat-like mode will create tubes from edges and spheres around vertices, while standard mode would create blob-like meat. There is a setting to set its precision. The bridge tool allows you to connect two open or closed mesh loops by creating a bridge between them. Because of geometry node tools limitations, you need to select only one of these two loops, and all the rest of the unselected geometry will be treated as the other loop. The Curve Deform tool deforms a mesh geometry along a mesh path. Just like with the previous tool, you need to select only the mesh geometry and all the rest of the unselected geometry will be treated as the mesh path. Additional options are Fit Curve Length, Rotation, Offsetting the Geometry from the Path and Offsetting the Start or End of the Path. The Extrude Edges with Loop Cuts tool allows you to extrude edges in any given direction and create up to maximum of 10 loop cuts in the extruded geometry. The Extrude Faces with Loop Cuts tool, similar to the previous one, allows you to extrude faces in any given direction and create up to maximum of 10 loop cuts in the extruded geometry. The Extruded Along Path tool. Just like we've already seen before, you need to select only the mesh profile you want to extrude and all the rest of the unselected geometry will be treated as the mesh polyline path. Activate the tool and it will extrude the profile around the mesh path following the curve's natural tilt. You can rotate and offset the profile to your liking. The Upright Extruder tool. Selection here works like the previous tool, so select only the mesh profile you want to extrude, activate the tool and it will extrude the profile and keep the profile upright, which is extremely important for building roads, ramps or paths. The Inset tool allows you to take the currently selected faces and create an inset of them, with adjustable thickness and depth. It has an individual faces inset mode and unlike Blender's default inset tool, this one allows negative inset. The Offset tool simply allows you to create an offset of single or multiple faces or polylines. There is no tool in Blender out of the box that lets you do this. 
Fill Curve tool allows you to create a face from multiple mesh opened or closed loops, regardless of the orientation of the face's normal. The Polyline Extender tool allows you to extend the polyline by adding a vertex at the end or at the beginning of the polyline, but keeps the direction of the tangent from where it was extended. The Shear tool allows you to manipulate geometry by shearing. Shearing is a form of movement where parallel surfaces move past one another. The Bezier from Points tool creates a Bezier curve from vertices or point cloud and then converts it to a polyline but gives you the option to control the resolution. The Circle tool creates a mesh circle or section of a circle and places it in the place of selected vertices. The Ellipse tool creates a mesh ellipse or a section of that ellipse and places it in the place of the selected vertices. The Grid 3D tool creates a 3D grid of points. You can set its size, the number of vertices on each axis, and randomize the vertices' position with the option to still stay inside the given size of the grid. The Grid Hexagon tool creates hexagon tiling on the XY plane. You can set the total size as well as the size of the hexagon. You can force straight edges and force regular hexagons, and you can even offset them like this. The Grid Triangle tool creates triangle tiling on the XY plane. It allows you to do the same thing as the hexagon grid, but this time with triangles. The Quad tool simply creates a quad from four vertices that you can set in the parameter options here. The Quad Sphere tool creates a sphere, but with quad topology. You can set the size of the sphere, the number of vertices on each axis, as well as use this factor to shift the shape between a sphere and a cube. The Shape from Two Polylines tool. Just like we've already seen before, you need to select only one polyline and all the rest of the unselected geometry will be treated as the other one. Activate the tool and it will create a 3D shape extruding the first polyline along the other one. You can set a different resolution and edit the curve's positioning after the transformation. The Tubes tool creates tubes from curves. Blender out of the box creates tubes from curves in a very bad way, deforming the thickness of the tube based on the angle between two edges. This tool corrects this behavior and you can set the resolution and the size of the tube. And with this we've reached the end. That's all of them. If you're still unsure about purchasing this add-on, check out the full manual, link in the description. And that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.